to um, create that effect like this you need the software's blender and photo filter 7 i'm going to create a new uh, project delete the queue shift a to create a text i'm going to click here to select a font um, so you click on font and you need the minecraft 10 font for it to show up in blender you will need to uh, download it and install it on your computer click on your os um, windows and then uh, fonts going to just search for the minecraft 10 Minecraft 10 and you are going to put it into uh, another um, file so for example videos so I'm going to select it oh, here you go Minecraft 10 and I'm going to go into edit mode to type something so alright so I am going to select it and go into align alignment and go into center and then I go to right click convert to mesh. Going to edit mode, st uh, press A to select all, and press E to extrude. Extrude it like that. I have my first text. So again, Shift A, create a text. I'll select the Minecraft 10 font. I am going to move it a bit so you can see. I'm going to select center and go into edit mode to type something, dog logo here. So convert to mesh. Edit mode A E boom. I have my text so I am going to rotate this one to 90 degrees on the x-axis and I'm going to yeah, lower it a bit so you press G to move something to move it on a specific axis you have to press G for example Y, J, Z and G, X so I'm going to G, Y no, G, Z, sorry um, G, Y, and to be a bit more precise with your actions, you can press G, and press G, Z, and like, while I'm dragging, I'm going to shift, click shift, so it's a bit more uh, precise. There I, there I go, I like that. I'm going to add my uh, textures to my text, so I click here, I click new, uh, and I click also here to see the colors. Um, I will make it... Uh, yellow and I am going to um, lower all of these parts and only uh, make uh, the specula and roughness bar go up to be faster for this part I am going to select here match here and I don't want it to be the same color so I'm going to press this one to create a new with the same uh, parameters settings and I'm going to make it blue now the only things that we need to change is the light and the camera so I am going to shift a create a light and I'm going to make a sunlight I'm going to um, uncheck the shadow button and you can change the angle you can change the strength depending on what you like, what you want to do. I like that setting. And we need now to make a camera. So shift A camera. And you want to delete all of the rotations. Uh, I'm going to move it on the Y axis. Move it on the Z axis. And I'm going to press 0 to see what I'm going doing. Sorry, I'm going to rotate it to maybe 4 degrees on the X axis. And I'm going to move it to see if I like the result. Yes, I do. The only thing that we need to do now is go into here, uh, render properties, and select film 
transparent there you go you can now do render render image and save it the minecraft logo for the name it like and now we are going to go into a uh, photo filter and you see I've already given a font here and now I'm going to copy and paste this layer uncheck this one and I'm going to create a new layer empty one I'm going to select this layer se select it like that right click click on the bucket and you can add border to it so I you can play with the um, size of it I like it like maybe 45 yeah I like it better so now that you have done here if no, you're not satisfied with something so you can always you can fix it with a black brush but if you have any problem you need to do that before the last step which is selecting the black border going to the gradient button select a gray color it's a bit close to black not too gray like this like, like that okay and the black color that's not really black it's a bit gray but i think maybe it's just like this there you go you now have your own logo and you can play with colors lights and maybe if you want to do uh, something more sophisticated you can just you can draw on it I am bad at drawing but you can do that thank you very much for watching goodbye